and welcome back to Bedtime Stories with Fee. Thank you very much for joining me. Now the author of tonight's book has asked me to read it for you tonight, which is always really, really exciting. So I do hope you enjoy it. In the description below, I will put some information about where you can buy the book if you are interested to buy one, because I know the author would really appreciate that. So check that out if you are interested. It's called My Grandma Sally Recovered and Rocking. I wonder what it's all about, shall we see? Have you got a very special grandma or a grandpa or a granny or a nanny or a nan? What do you call yours? Oh, that's a very nice name, isn't it? And do you like seeing them? Lots of children have a very special relationship with their grandparents, don't they? It's always nice to go and see them and they get you lots of treats and they're just lovely, aren't they? So shall we see what the grandma is up to in this story today? Yes! My grandma Sally was in hospital for 10 days suffering from this deadly virus that had taken over our world. Grandma looked pale and weak. She could barely breathe. We were not allowed to visit grandma. But nurse Nancy who took care of grandma made us see her on Skype. I prayed for grandma every day and night. Mummy assured us that she would be okay and that she'd been taken good care of. The doctors and nurses were doing their very best so Grandma would beat the virus. She's not looking very well, is she? But hopefully this story is going to be a happy one and she's going to recover. Shall we read a little bit more? Yes. On Saturday morning, Grandma surprised us. After days of having tubes up her nose that helped her breathe, she no longer needed them. She was finally breathing on her own. That day, I was so relieved. Nurse Nancy video recorded the day Grandma left the hospital. All the doctors and nurses cheered for Grandma as she made her way out of the building. Shall we cheer for her? Say, yay, Grandma's all better. Grandma's all better. That day, Grandma wore a sunflower top, red jogging pants, yellow sneakers, and had her hair up in a ponytail. Grandma was so happy that day. She seemed like a new grandma, a brand new grandma. When I spoke to grandma on the phone that day, she said she was grateful for having a second chance at life. Grandma said she wanted to do everything crazy that she had dreamed of doing. I didn't quite understand what she meant by crazy, but I soon discovered. That night she wrote a list of everything that made her happy. She called it her bucket list. I still couldn't meet grandma in person, so all our conversations happened on the internet or on the phone. This monstrous virus was still very much part of our world. So her grandma has written a list of all the things she would like to do, and it's called a bucket list. I wonder if there's some things that you want to do in your lifetime. I wanted to go skydiving, and I did it. And I wanted to fly a plane, and I did it. That's right, I jumped out of a plane, and then my parachute came out. It was amazing. And then I actually got to drive the plane up in the air. <gasps> it was so much fun. And there's still lots of other things that I would like to do. So I wonder what things you want to do. You'll have to let me know. Or have a think about it if you're not sure yet. When we Skyped the following Monday, I could barely recognize grandma. Grandma, is that you? I asked, rubbing my eyes. Yes, that's me, Sophia, she said, smiling. Wow, Grandma! She wore bright red lipstick with the most beautiful pearl necklace I had ever laid my eyes on. Your granddad gave me this on our first wedding anniversary. I just didn't wear it all these years. As I was admiring her new look, she pulled up a glittery pair of shoes. Wow, they're fancy, Grandma. Whose shoes are they? I asked. They are mine, Grandma said excitedly. They came in the mail yesterday. Before I could notice, Grandma slipped into these glittery tap shoes and started flashing some moves. I had never seen Grandma dance, but today, after all these years, she wasn't just dancing, she was tap dancing. Wow, so one of the things on her list was to tap dance and she's learned how to do it. Tap, 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 tap. Can you do some dancing? Tap, 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 t
I cheered her on as she swung about the wooden floor, finally dropping on the floor in a burst of giggles. I laughed so hard. After she could catch her breath, Grandma said, I've signed up for tap dancing classes online. I've always wanted to learn tap dancing, Sophia, but I never got around to learning it. So I thought, why not now? I was truly impressed. If there was ever an award for the sassiest grandma, my grandma would surely win. Moments later, her phone started beeping and it was like I didn't even exist anymore. Give me a minute, honey, she said as she typed away. Ever since this virus has come along, Grandma's become a social media queen. Be it Twitter, Facebook or Instagram, she knows them all. After a break of exactly 3 minutes and 32 seconds, she said, Sophia, I've discovered a group of grannies on Facebook who ride motorbikes. They call themselves the Wild Grannies. I feel like laughing, but I didn't. I didn't want to upset Grandma. These ladies meet and go on bike dates together, Grandma continued. What? Bike dates? I said, shocked. Yes, bike dates, Sophia. All grannies ride their bikes, visiting the coolest places in town. From museums and restaurants to coffee shops and bookstores. I can't wait to join the Wild Grannies Club after this virus is over, she said excitedly. But I was a little concerned. Grandma! You are 67. What if you fall off a motorbike and injure yourself? I wondered what had suddenly got into Grandma. Remember, age is just a number, Sophia. I will learn how to ride a motorbike and take a motorbike driving test. Only then will I ride on the road, Grandma explained. Don't you worry, my child. I will always wear my helmet and follow all traffic rules. So I should be okay. There wasn't much I could say to that point. It seemed like Grandma made up her mind. Besides, who was I to shatter her dreams? Just promise me you won't tell Mum about this. Just yet, she said. I promise, Grandma. So she's going to learn to ride a motorbike. <gasps> Does your Grandma ride a motorbike? Or your Grandpa? I don't know many. She'll pretend we're on a motorbike. So hold on to the handlebars and we're going... Vroom, vroom, vroom. Motorbikes are very fast, aren't they? I thought this virus was going to take everything away from me, Sophia. But I've gained more than I've lost. After all these years, I have the courage to finally do all the things I've always wanted to do in life. Grandma said teary-eyed. Remember, child, always listen to that voice inside you telling you to be you, telling you to live your dreams, no matter how crazy they may sound to others. And most importantly, don't forget to be happy and smile. <gasps> it's good to be happy. Can you show me your happiest face? <laughs> That's lovely. And dream big. Always think about what you want to do and make it happen. Everything is possible. I felt like hugging grandma so bad at that moment but since I couldn't, I blew her a virtual kiss instead. Grandma, I love you so much. That day, I realised God didn't just give me my grandma back, but he gave me the coolest grandma a kid could ever wish for. I couldn't wait for her to pick me up from school on her motorbike. That would be cool, wouldn't it? So even though they can't see each other, she is very happy to be able to keep chatting to her grandma and seeing all the cool things that she's doing. So I hope if you haven't been able to see your grandma for a long time, maybe you can give her a call and don't forget to tell her that you love her <laughs> or your grandpa or whoever you want to do it to. Don't forget to say, I love you. And that's it. Isn't that a wonderful story? And if you get a copy of the book, there are some questions about the story and you can even create your own bucket list. How cool is that? And you can write down all the things you want to do in your life. That would be fantastic, wouldn't it? Thank you very much for listening. Thank you to Annie Morad for asking me to read that story for you. I hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you have. And I will see you again soon for another story.